in today's film I'm going to show you how to make some decorative Harry Potter wall art. Step one is just to find a fan made pick that you like and cut it to size. You want it to be slightly smaller than an A4 page so you can add the decorations around it. Once you've got it cut out, choose a piece of backing card. For this picture I chose to use a chrome colour, just because it worked. And then just go ahead and glue the picture on. In steps coming up, we will be using a hot glue gun, so make sure you get that one plugged in and heating up. Once you've got it glued down, Grab yourself a frame. This one I just picked up from the second hand shop and I just want you to assemble the picture into the frame. Obviously my frame isn't quite A4 so I'm just going to trim the edges. Once you've got your picture trimmed to slide, just slide in the piece at the back. And just get a little tool to push down your clips. Now because this picture always makes you think of Lily and Snape, I've decided to add the word always across the frame. So these are just some little silver, silver letters. And all I was going to do is lay them out across the frame. Keeping the A and the S just on the edges of the frame. Now you will need hot glue for this part, just to attach your letters. Just putting a little dob onto them. Being careful not to let any of the stringy pieces show. In addition to the word always across the frame, I also have Dumbledore's wand that I'm just going to put on the opposite corner. Again, just with your hot glue gun. And the last decoration I have here is just a little tiny key that says the word love, which is going up in the top corner. Now for this one, I'm just going to use some Tarzan's grip to attach it, because obviously I don't want to see the hot glue. It's just a multi-purpose glue. It dries fairly quickly, so be very careful and you only need a very small amount. It will dry clear so you won't see it once you've attached it. And that one's done, ready to be hung on the wall.